Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Travels and Toast mini food series. Uh, today I am with the famous one and only Dan vs. Food. Dan vs. Food again. Uh, we're today back. we're gonna go, actually we're not entirely sure where we're gonna, where no, we're gonna we go. No, we don't. We've just been checking up on some places to eat and we found a Chinese place but no prices online, yeah. no price on the menu, but it looks really good. Uh, we're not entirely sure if it's gonna be too posh. We don't wanna be eating from like fancy, you know, menued restaurants where we can't even film how the food is made. So we're gonna make sure we find something cool. Are we gonna find something cool, do you think? Oh, we definitely will. We're gonna have a drive around and we'll park and yeah. find something. Let's give it a go. Hey, up, man. It's two turn right here. Right, I think. So we arrived at the Chinese restaurant and it looks pretty damn closed. Like most of the business here in Laos at the moment because of the good old lockdown. You know all about it, right? So we were struggling to find a Chinese restaurant. So we might change the strategy a little bit and trying to find something else that's interesting. So you ready, Dan? Uh, let's do it. So we just arrived to some, some sort of restaurant. We're not entirely sure. We kind of like the sign that said in there, like it says they have bom boy. Bombu kue. Basically, it's like it's it looks really good. It looks so beef good. soup. Very, very famous. Like people who lived in Vietnam, they probably know about this soup. They also have like uh, kind of like dumplings and all kinds of like interesting stuff. So we're just gonna go check it out in there. Yeah, definitely deep fried, deep fried spring rolls, shrimp buns, yeah, yeah. all kinds of stuff here. Really so. good selection and barbecue as well. Oh yeah, let's go and check the barbecue. See what they're cooking out there. Is it, is it pork? Pork? Is this pork or chicken? I don't think, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, no pasta Lao. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to learn to speak Lao a little bit because locals don't speak that good English. So there's some more pork cooking in here. Look at that. It's like all kinds of like interesting and juicy, juicy meat. Mmm, looks delicious. Yeah, it is pretty air conditioned here. It's nice. It's so hot today. It feels a bit like you're in like a hole. Like uh, you can hear the echoes of your own voice. It's like very very traditional looking restaurant i mean look at the environment it's very very local but you know the more local you go the better is the food uh, this is an amazing dish it's like a kind of sticky overcooked rice where it's almost burned and it's some of it's crunchy some of it's a bit chewy but it's got like pork skin in there pork ear and a bunch of just other stuff it comes with loads of herbs and things it's so good what are they doing here it looks like they're doing some sort of like kebab or like it's meat, definitely means meat. Oh, spring roll. Maybe, yeah. Uh, spring, spring roll. roll. Oh, yes, they make a spring rolls in here, so that's the what goes inside the spring roll. Actually, I think what the ladies are doing here with this meat here is the steamed sago with pork. I actually don't even know what that exactly is. It's like sort of like spring rolls, but it's actually not. So I personally have never tried it, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna order that. Do you wanna try it? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. There's so many to choose from though, it's all uh, so tempting. It's very like Vietnamese. Is this Vietnamese restaurant? Mm -hmm. Or they just, just like kind of mixed? Yeah. Vietnamese. Yeah. Brock. Vietnamese. Brock. <laughs> so much <laughs> very, very I like the, the boiled steaky brock as well. We got a, like a steaky brock. Nice, so yeah, we will try. We will try some of this brock for show. So, some of the food has arrived just now, and it's this thing called sago. I'm not sure if you guys ever tried this or seen this before, but apparently, not even Dan versus no. food have heard of it. I've never seen this before. It doesn't sound like any cuisine. Sago, mm -hmm. like maybe Malaysian or yeah. Filipino or something. It looks like a like spring roll with loads of meat, and like it looks a bit like a dumpling as well at the same time, but it's, I don't know. And I got a spoon. Just try it by itself first. It's really glutinous and inside filling with minced pork and moon mushroom and carrot and uh, probably a bunch of herbs and black pepper and stuff. It's really hot though, it's super hot. Okay, let's we'll try. She brought some sauce as mm. well just now. Okay, maybe. So maybe you need to go with the sauce probably. What does it taste like? It's, it's just good. like a a really glutinous spring roll. Yeah, that's the only way okay. I can describe it. Yeah, that's not normal pork. That's like um, that's like innards or something, offaly type flavor. But I like it. I'm not sure if Mario will. I don't know. 
We've just been, oh wow, the table's not big enough for all of this. It's like five minutes of wait time. Literally, the service was pretty, pretty good in here. I don't know even, I don't even know what all that is. What I'm gonna do is try that sago, so see how it goes. I mean, Dan's like says it's nice to everything, so I'll see what it actually tastes I like. I really like it. Smells like, smells like, I don't know, like lamb or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Very crispy meat. What do you think it is? It's not just normal pork, is it, or something like that? Funny to say, but like it reminds me like Eastern European cuisine a little bit. It's like Eastern European dumplings. And I really, really like it, by the way. It's really good. It is. It's really good. And I feel like we ordered quite a lot of food. Uh, the hue soup has arrived just now as well. So I'm guessing you put the noodles and everything from here and it's chicken to the soup. And hue soup is obviously, they boil it for hours and hours and hours to get all of the juices out of the bones. It might look like a healthy soup, but there's a lot of, a shit ton of cholesterol in there. Just look at his fat right here. I'm just gonna try it right away, see what it's like. Whoa, pretty strong flavor. Pretty fatty and strong flavor. It smells Whoa. so good, I can smell wow. it. It literally takes me back to Vietnam straight away. We're gonna start putting stuff in it. So the way it works with soups in here, you just simply put like literally everything into the bowl. Right, so we're gonna start from these like bean sprouts. They're not beans, but how would you call these beans? Green beans or long Green beans? Green beans, long beans. Okay, mm. that's the one. I'm holding camera with my other hand, so I'm kind of like struggling to break it a little bit. But yeah, you just took them right into the bowl. Then you got a bunch of noodles. Do you take them with your hands or probably just the old fashioned way, you know? Just took the whole entire thing there. It was like loads of loads of green sprouts with cabbage. Mm, oh yeah, cabbage All as well. All the green stuff here on top. And then some carrot. And I'm not sure exactly what this root is, but I've tried it before. Do you know what this Might is? Might be the banana root. Oh, the banana flower, the shape. Oh, okay, like oh. banana blossom maybe. Yes, banana beans. Well, the lady just bringing more stuff here. She's brought like more veg, more greens, and as the coconut. What's it? What's it called again? Coconut now? pork, coconut noodle pork, or coconut something. Coconut noodle pork. Mm. Wow, that looks insane. No idea how we're gonna demolish all this food, but I mean, we look at it. We can do it. I reckon we can. That's a lot of food out here. Here's a special trick from Dan that we always seen, but not everybody has seen this. What is it, Dan? <laughs> more chili and the fermented shrimp paste as well. So what you do, it's definitely needed with a soup, which I have, so it's all good. And you just scoop up that fermented shrimp paste and the entire chili. He just eats chilies like Haribo's. I can't describe to you the flavor. Whoa, that is, that is spicy. <laughs> of course it's spicy, but it's perfect because you have this soup you have the soup to kind of follow it down with. Mm. I'm in love. <laughs> Dan has tried it. Basically, this is like a shrimp paste. Shrimp and like maybe like, maybe like crawfish or stuff like that, you know? There's like all kinds of like, like sort of like sea watery, sort of watery little creatures mashed up into this paste. Oh, really strong. Things. You know, it feels like someone left the fish in this bowl for like a year and then just opened it and that's what it would smell like. But uh, we are with Dan versus food and it would be really, really rude not to actually try this with a bit of raw, green, spicy ass chili. So off we go. Woo! Look at that shrimp paste. There's a lot of little shrimps that died there. Let's do this. Yeah, go, go, go. Ah, oh, really spicy, spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> have some soup, have some soup. Ah ha ha. Mmm, that's fucking hell. Ah. Oh. Epic mistake. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> All the veg, everything. Mint, mint. Beer. Beer, beer. Like I said, a beer was a good shot. Ah. Oh. Oh no, you don't really eat chili, do you? That's a bad idea, see? Ah, ah, it burns.
burns. I'm, I feel tears are coming out. I can see your eyes. Oh. Yeah. Glazed up now. Mm. Glazed up. It burns my mouth. Like it burns my 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 tongue. Oh, she's brought some water for you. Oh, how kind is she? She knew it. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Bye. So this is what he eats like Haribo's and this is what I look like when I eat one. Love it, love it. Oh, I think I got some stuck in my teeth, man. That's why it's burning so bad. Oh. Ah, man up, man up, man up, man up, man up. Right, let's put some more food in our mouth. Get some of that. Look at some of that sago with all the meats in it. Oh, look at it. Mmm, mmm. It's a bit better. Be and you can probably see. Yeah. There's wow. tears coming out. Oh, no. I'm not crazy. messing with you. These are real tears. And it's not getting better. You said it's gonna get better. No, for me it's okay, but yeah, you don't eat chilies, man. Oh, man. It's coming back. I feel like it's stuck in between my teeth or something. Like I don't know what to do. I'm kinda like kinda wanna relax and enjoy people who like, think that I'm just ridiculous here, kinda like shaking a lot, doing a lot of movements and spazzing out in here. But it's just too damn spicy for me. Like I'm not used to this. I'm not so used to this, you know? I'm coming from a Western world. Have another one. And like, no, thank you. Do it. No, 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 more. No more. Thanks, man. No. I got a bit traumatized. <laughs> I'm not sure how many more videos we can do with Dan versus food because this is just being a bit too too intense for me. We still got another dish that hasn't been tested out and is that Chinese dumpling. Look at the size mm -hmm. of it. Look at this dumpling. <laughs> We've actually left it a few minutes so it's not actually hot. Let's break it open. Oh, look at what's in there. So pork, a quail's egg. And yeah, just the... It says it has shrimp as well, pork. apparently. Oh, there might be shrimp in the pork bit as well, yeah. I'm not sure how we're gonna half this. How are we gonna half a quail's egg? There we go. Let's try to... Okay, oh no, it's a little failing, I'm failing. Oh, I'll just have this bit. Okay, I'll have this, you have that. Okay, right, it's a little shrimp bit. Right, let's try it. Hey, see the tiny little shrimp in there? Oh, it might be like the dried ones they have. Mm. Oh, so good. Why don't they have two? Damn it. <laughs> I know. I missed these bumps. Dan's looking at two cameras here. The way, what we're doing right now is kind of because we're running entirely two channels right now. Something like that. <laughs> it's kind of interesting experience. Oh, it's no. my turn to try that Chinese dumpling with a quail leg. It's, it's not a normal leg. It's usually a normal leg. This time it's quail leg. You know quails are these little animals? Yeah. So it's their egg and we're going to just try it right now. Mm. 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 Yeah, it's good, right? It's helping me to kill that spiciness from the evil chili. Mm. No, no wonder they only had one left. Everyone buys this stuff, it's really good. Mm. Mario is now gonna try this coconut pork noodle soup, yeah. right? Because um, we had so much food, like this food kind of got a little bit cold, it's still slightly bit warm. But as you can see, there's like the coconut and the oil sort of like solidified a little bit. And here's all the juice and liquid. Looks so good. Ah, let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. It's not spicy. It's lovely. I really like it. I'm gonna try some meat in here as well. It's like probably pork, meatballs, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. It's really like creamy, sort of like sour creamy, something like that. Very like sort of like soft flavor. So it doesn't have like any like strong herbs or like strong seasoning like chili. It's very sort of like. Nice, especially after those chilies. So I'm feeling like literally I'm about to burst. Uh, I tried my best and actually not to fail Dan versus food today. It was really difficult. I mean, uh, the chilies kind of stopped burning me, so I kind of wiped my tears. Managed to finish this much of my soup. Again, a little bit of a failure because I couldn't finish all this noodles. I mean, look at the size of this bowl. Huge! It left a tiny bit there, I mean there's not that much. The size of the bowl is like, come on. We've had all the Huge. noodle from there, most of the noodle and the pork, uh, the meatballs and everything. So, yeah, yeah we've done a yeah. good job here. The and then, uh, and then what, sago, whatever you call that, that was like really interesting. Like, we have never tried anything like that, like sago, you know. So, it was something new, you know, something, some new sort of experience. Because we kind of were expecting, we tried the U.S. soup before in like Vietnam, because Dan used to live in Vietnam. We traveled a few times in Vietnam. You actually can see a link above me. You can see our old videos about Vietnam. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to get the bill. You know? Yeah, we uh, need to check the price of this. How yeah. many dishes? So it's 
One, two, two three, four... Dumplings? Five. Five. Five dishes. And tons of vegetables. Which one was your favorite, man? My favorite was maybe the coconut. The coconut? Soup. Yeah, I, uh, I love coconut. Any <laughs> favorite coconut is good. I think he's been in Asia quite a long time, so that's why he probably likes coconut. Uh, mine was probably like the sago. I really like the sago just because it kind of reminds me of my back in day, you know, my bringing. Because we kind of use similar stuff, it's just a bit different, but very similar. And uh, pork dumpling was really good. It, I never bought, tried pork dumpling with quail eggs, you know? And shrimp at the same time. Yeah, so. But, anyways, guys, if you're still watching this right now, I'd like to say a massive thank you for watching. Really, genuinely, it comes from the bottom of my heart. And if you did enjoy this video, hit a like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you next time.